It feels like heaven knowing I'm lying here. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, eat. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> wow. This looks delicious. Yeah, thank you. You just really? need it now downstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Boy, you still look stressed. You look tense up. Are you okay? Uh, I think the stress from the wedding is too weighing me uh, down. Okay, mm. so I'll give you a massage when you when you're done eating, alright? Okay. No. Take. Uh huh. Drop it. Ah. Ah. Huh? One more round then. Eh? One more round. Eh? Wait. You want to eat me before eating? Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. I want to eat the food before the food. Mm -hmm. I like to hear. Yeah. You don't look happy. How would I be happy? Eh? How would I be happy? You, you don't want to do the things I like anymore. Please. I don't have strength for that now. Please try and understand. No, I won't understand. This is the second time you are saying this. Is it fair? Honey, calm down. You now have me. Soon you get tired of all these things. Please. Hmm? <clears throat> Why have you not eaten? Uh, are you not supposed to make breakfast for me? <laughs> but you made breakfast for me on bed, so why didn't you eat then? Does that mean you will not cook for me? Why are you asking me this question? Oh, Don't babe. you know responsibility? What are you saying? What responsibility are you talking about? Your responsibility as a woman, of course. Oh, babe, please stop. As you can see, I want to go and get you my makeup things and. At least, please, look at this house now. Aren't you going to tidy it and give me something to eat? Tidy is at all. Eh? This house is too big for me to tidy up every day, not like it's a hotel. Babe, please. Come. Get that money ready by next week. I'll need it. Madam, good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? I am very fine, madam. Look at me. <laughs> I am very good. You can see that. See, see, madam, do you know what? You look very, very beautiful. You look... <laughs> for, me, for me to open my mouth and tell you that you look very beautiful is understatement. Madam, you look very... Take away. Thank you. Oh. Do you know what? Our guy is very, very lucky to find someone like you. After much... <laughs> much what? I mean, much, much. I know. <laughs> you should understand it, huh? I know you're hiding something. Uh -uh. But maybe it's not something I would want. <laughs> ah, but how can I hide something from you? A beautiful lady like you. Eh? <laughs> but, madam, you should use your number six. You should use your medulla oblongata, your thalamus, your cerebellum, and your cerebrum. <laughs> 
Ei, vreau da bolul Oh, get you Oh, get you Come on Nelly, <laughs> are you mad? Uh, Nelly, where have you been all this way? How dare you call me by my name? <laughs> it's very, very simple now. As simple as ABCD. Because I can no longer call you my madam again. Why? <laughs> I don't want you to come from my mouth. You can go in there and see for yourself. If you dare call me by my name again, I will make sure you get sacked. <laughs> Rubbish. In our dream. Not a reality. <laughs> See, look at it. How are we? Your character is as beautiful as your body now. <laughs> I would have advised for God to change. Something about you. Don't you to manage you. <laughs> look at it. I'm going to suck you. But I'm not going to Hi, Nani, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Is that how you welcome the love of your life? Oh, Nani, you have you have to stop this thing. Look, I'm getting married. You can't be doing this anymore. What? I thought you said you love me. Is this how you repay me? I was with you when you had nothing, Henry. Nelly. Nothing. Nelly, what are you talking about? Nelly, what did you expect me to do? You rejected me! What did you expect me to do? Are we seriously doing this all over again? Nelly, come on. Eh? What, what do you want me to do without you? Hmm? Explain to me why we can't become husband and wife. Because you've not done enough to be my husband. Nelly, Sorry. Nelly, Nelly please, please. I, I've grown to know you and I, I love you so much. I, I can't do without you. Please, just, just marry me. Henry, I love you too, but let's just be friends for now, okay? Get to know each other. I'm sorry, I can't accept to marry. Nelly. <sighs> That's not what I mean, but. But what? Do you want me to go mad on you? Have you forgotten how many times? How many times I begged you? Have you forgotten how many times you turned me down, even in public? Nelly! Do you know the stress and humiliation you caused me? Can you just listen to yourself? Huh. How do you feel being related from somebody you claim to love? Somebody that you love? Love and just all. Oh, hey, hey, hey! My love cannot endure that one, okay? I'm married. Leave me alone. Get out of my house! Now I know you don't love me. Me? Men has come. I hate you! They leave. See this one. Want to stress me. Do you know that that's not even my problem right now? Madam, you even know her? Are you mad? How do you answer my question with question? Is that not Nelly? Uh, 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 she's Nelly. Madam, is there any problem? Hey! I don't just understand you. I don't just understand you. What is your ex doing in our house? And why did you leave our room in a mess? I don't even remember seeing you sweep this house today. Last time I remember you sweeping here today was a very long time ago. Okay, that's what brought your ex into our home to come and clean up the room, right? Why are you talking about Nelly? I told you I'm done with this girl. And you want me to believe you? What's she doing in our house? Who invited her? 
Why did she come when I'm around? Is she the one I told you I invited her? She doesn't need to tell me. I don't need any suit here to tell me that you're oh the one that invited God. your stupid ex into this house. See, for a marriage that just started. Charity, you are annoying me. I know. You are really annoying no, me. No, you don't need to tell me. I know. I'm not annoying, right? Because your ex came to satisfy you. I don't blame you one bit. Oh, God. It's what? This is why you like this. What's your problem? Charity. Charity, are you okay? Charity! Yes, a marriage that have not reached up to one week, ordinary one week, they are starting living like cat and dog, cat and rat, eh? they are starting to rise in themselves, hey, eh? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I hope this marriage will not have accident on the way. <laughs> the way I'm seeing it, the way I'm seeing it, I hope this marriage will not last up to one month. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. This time around, they need to be in the honeymoon. You kiss me, the one who kiss me, you will be smashing. There will be original love within them, but now, that is what I Just Ah ah. Nah. I hope. <coughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking, though. Madam. Oh. Eh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Madam. There's something that has been bothering me over and over again. So, I decided let me come and tell you. <laughs> okay. What is it? Uh, madam. You know, since you came into this house, uh, I noticed that you have been buying and buying and buying different kinds of foods. In fact, from expensive restaurant, madam. So, I just said, let me give you this advice. So, if you can use small money, I mean small money, small change, you can use it and cook a delicious food the way you used to cook before, man. <laughs> You are very stupid. Yes. How dare you come to me with that trash talk? Are you mad? Sometimes, madam. Sorry, man. Mm. Sorry. No, be sorry for yourself. So let me tell you something. Mm. If you dare come to me with any stupid suggestion again, you will lose your job that day. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I want to marry you. Madam. Marry you. Talk to me, baby, like single person. <laughs> so, my mouth want to put me into trouble. Look, madam. Ordinary piece of advice that I gave to you, you change it for me. Say so if you talk, if you talk, you will lose your job. Imagine. Madam, you fail to understand the situation of this country. You know how dollar is increasing, increasing daily in and daily out. Madam, but you forget. Madam, you don't know how to manage. Madam, you know you don't know at all at all. Madam, you should understand though. <laughs> you should understand. But anyway. What they consign Abu to Valot? What is <laughs> Mr. Paul? Mind your duty, please. You change suddenly. You change. You change. You change. I go tell Mama. I go tell Papa that I'm Henry. married. What are you doing here this early morning? Is everything all right? Everything is not all right. I, I can't understand what Charity is doing. I don't get it, Papa. You came here to complain about your wife. Papa, of course I came to complain. I shouldn't, but I have Listen, to. listen. You've been married for barely one month. And you're telling me you came here to complain about someone you just got married to. Papa, of course I came here to complain. This girl can't even sweep my house. Let me get this straight. You drove all the way from your house to my house to complain about your wife's inability to sweep the house. Papa, I don't see anything wrong in complaining, you know. Of course I can complain about my wife to you now. We're family for Christ's sake. You don't see anything wrong with complaining about a marriage that is barely one month old. 
Uh, Henry, if you don't have anything good to do with your life, I do. I'm in, a I'm in a hurry to go somewhere. So if you don't mind, go back to your wife, your marriage, okay? So Papa, you can help me sort this out now. Papa, I came to you for advice. Open that gate for me. We are not going to involve a second party in our marriage. Then why did you go and tell Papa that I don't do anything in this house? Take a look at this house. This house is unkept. I don't get it. Am I your cook or your cleaner? I married you as my wife. You're supposed to be cooking and cleaning. You never told me this from the beginning. You promised to treat me like a queen and this is not how a queen is being treated. I don't understand. Am I supposed to beg you before you cook for me? I never said so. I just want you to stop seeing it as if it's my obligation to cook for you. That's all. I'm your wife, I'm not your cook. Okay, so it's not my obligation to be cooking for you. Please, I don't have time for all this banter. By the way, the day presets. Come, let's go. Wait, Charity, when did you cook this? I, I ordered from Crystal Kitchen. Come back again. Charity, when would you go into the kitchen and actually cook something? Please, can you eat for once and stop complaining? Okay, jokes apart, Charity. Why are you doing this? What has happened to you? I should be asking you that question. You've suddenly turned yourself into a nagging man. And that's not like you. Why won't I change? Chetty, why would I change? I don't understand why a good cook like you would swear never to cook again in this house. Okay. I know that I can cook very well. The fact that I can cook very well doesn't make me your cook. If you know you want to be eating homemade food here every day, then hire a cook. And if you want your house to be clean, get a cleaner. I'm, I'm not, not hiring. hiring. I am not hiring any maid. Ah. We just got married now. It's just the two of us. Is it that you can't take care of both of us? Henry, I don't know you as a troublesome person. What's going on? What has come over you? Like I'm even asking for the impossible. This is what other homes do. They hire cooks and cleaners. Come on, Charity. This is my own family. We can't hire any maid right now. Okay, I agree. Later in the future, yes. But right now, I will not accept that. Why are you something like this home belongs to you alone? For God's sake, I'm your wife and I deserve a say. Tired. You've already enjoyed me now. But what are you saying? This is the first time we're doing this. Yeah, it's not the first time, but I don't like it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Eh? I'll give you the one you like, and eh? that's snake in monkey shadow. Eh? Come on. If, uh, it's not possible. Don't, 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 don't try it. Don't. <sighs> but I don't understand now. 
We were doing all of these things before we got married. Now, why are you doing like as if it's something strange? Eh, we, we are single. It's for singles. <sighs> now, the, the ones that married people do, the position that they do is missionary. If we not do missionary, then leave, leave it. Don't, don't, don't come with it. God, what is this? What is all this? Is it that I'm no longer attractive to you? Please, please just let me be. Charity, please don't turn me down. Don't turn me down. I need you badly. You've refunded me for over one hour. Like I'm a sex machine. Please go to bed. Just go to bed. Charity, one of the reasons why I married you is because you're the only one that knows how to quench my fire. Do you know what you do now? Go to the bedroom and pour some cold water on your body so that this fire that is on your body will quench. If I should allow you to fandom me the way you did when we were dating, I would die before my time. So please. Charity, this thing you are doing is not good though. It's not good though. Do you know what this means for our family? It's not end well though. God in heaven knows that I am not depriving you of your conjugal rights. But for you to throw me up, left, right, center, is what I will never tolerate again. Never. Mbano. So go to bed. Ah. Charity, this is not fair. Both of you will be having fallout in less than a month of way after your wedding. Mama, Harry complains too much. He complains about cooking, no washing, no, no, no cleaning the house. He even complains about making love. This is getting too much. Ah. Henry, what is the problem? Papa, it, that's, not, that's not the problem here. Everything she just listed now, she does not do one of them. Clean my house or she will not do it. My house is dirty. Cook for me or she will not do it. I'm hungry. What is it now? Why, Charity? Is that true? Mama, that's not the major problem here. Yeah. That's not the major problem. I give him my body for over an hour, yet he's not satisfied. Hey, whoa! Henry, over an hour? That should be enough now. No, it's not even the yeah. even the man from some awkward making love styles. Even snake in the monkey shadow. Henry, do you want to kill my daughter? What is the meaning of all this nonsense? Sir, sir. Well, she did everything before we got married now. Why is she complaining now? Does it mean two of you were having extramarital affairs before marriage? Eh? But I asked us. I discussed with you people. Does it mean you lied to me? Sir, look up on your marriage now, now. Ah, you're married now. Okay. Go and fix your marriage. You hear me? I don't want to get involved in all this. Go and fix your marriage. 
since you got yourself involved in a Samaritan relationship before marriage. Go and fix your marriage. I will not be part of it. Go and go to her and fix your marriage. I'm out of it. Charity. Charity. So you mean you've been lying to me all this while? Eh? Sorry. I thought you married as a virgin. Eh? In fact, you told me you married as a virgin. I'm ah, sorry. Ah, 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 ah. I'm disappointed in you. Go and fix your marriage. I don't have time for this rubbish. Mama. If you can disgrace me like this, go and fix it. Mama, I'm sorry. Mr. Complainant, you are not happy. Oh, but you're the one that brought up You are so. not happy. You are not happy. Oh, you yeah, are the one that brought this up. I hope you know. I know you are happy now, right? I know you are happy. You are happy now, answer me. You are happy now, right? My aim is to be satisfied by the oh, woman no, I'm married your to. Your aim is to ride me like a horse and tear my waist into shreds, and I will not let that happen. So you're doing it purposely? Bao, that's wickedness. I'm not going to allow that. See, Harry, we need to find a way around things. We can't be fighting like cat and rat every day in this house. See, it's better for you if you just go back to what you were doing. That, that, that's the only way all these things can set you low. Please don't stress me. I was enjoying all those things then, but I can't anymore. I can't. You know what? It's simple. You just played me into getting married to you. That's just what this means. Please don't, that. Please don't stress me. What are you doing here? And um, when did you have that right to start asking me stupid questions? Eh? Can you sit upstairs? Eh? Me? Point of correction! I am the CEO of this compound. In fact, the GO, the Grand Commander in Chief of of our uh, army staff in this compound. I don't understand it. See? The last time I checked, you are not longer accepted in this house. My boss is now married to another lady. So you are no longer accepted in this house. Wait, did Henry tell you to do all this or you're just doing it in your own house? Uh -huh. Take eh? it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> eh? See, you have to be very, very careful. Don't add salt to the injury. Yes. My boss is now married. You have to move on with your lives. Yes! <laughs> Anyways, I don't have any business with you, Mr. Paul. Let me go and see. Hey, don't dare! Where are you going? Come back also. See, if you just step in here now, I will throw you like a, a dustbin. I will carry you like a tap. If you dare lay your filthy hands on me, mm -hmm. I will make sure you spend the rest of this year in jail. What's going on here? Uh -huh, madam. Madam, look at this dustbin. Look at this pet ball, this cockroach. Wanted to force herself inside. I told her that my ogre is not around. She wanted to force herself inside. But I said no. That is the thing, no? <laughs> look at the dirty thing Henry left me for. You must be very stupid. And what the hell are you doing here? Didn't he tell you that he's not married? Mm -hmm. And you? Didn't he tell you that he had a woman before you reluctantly jumped into his life? I don't even have time for all these banters. Paul, uh -huh. push this uh -huh. hey, 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 don't worry, don't worry, we'll go. Don't worry. I'll we go. But help me and tell him that our baby is missing his daddy. Okay? Hmm. You mean you have a baby for him? Oh, he didn't tell you. <laughs> when he's back, ask him. Nonsense. Huh. Hey, hey, take it easy. Don't, don't break my gate, though. Take it easy. Take it easy. This thing, my dear, what's going on? Eh? Don't, 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 don't do that thing that is in your mind. Don't try it. So, she had a baby for you. 
Who in God's name are you talking about? How many women are having babies for you out there? Please, where is this coming? I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't have time to handle all this. No, I know. You must be tired. Hey, why didn't you tell me everything about yourself before we started this marriage thing? I told you everything. What more do you want to know? So who is the Nelly girl that told me that she has hey. a child for you? God, what is all this? I thought in marriage you're supposed to settle down. What? Where are these things coming from? Earlier today, this stupid, foolish, nonsense Nelly of a girl told me to tell you that your child is asking after you. God, nobody has a child for me. Not even Nelly. She was here earlier today and she told me to tell you that your child is asking after you. God Almighty. See, eh? I don't understand what is happening. I thought in marriage you were supposed to settle down and you be you would live your life in peace. But I don't know where these things are coming from. Now you're calling me. The ones that finally caught me don't even appreciate me. I don't know why people don't appreciate what they have until they lose it. Ah! I don't want to see now! What's why did you call my phone? You must give me back my phone! You must be sick! Give me back you my phone! Give me my phone! You must be sick in What's wrong with you? Why did you call my phone now? Give me my phone! In this house, you are not seeing this phone again. Show me the end. You must be joking. Oh, you think it's a joke? Give me my phone! No, uh, Harry, come back here! Come back! Give me my phone! Are you okay? Give me back my phone! Are you okay? Give me my phone! I say you're not seeing this phone! Give me my phone! Don't make me do something that I will never Don't make me do something! Don't make me do something! Don't make me do something! Get out! 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 Calm down, calm down, huh? don't cry. He beat me up and seized my phone. I don't know what I did to him. He beat you up? He beat you up? When you did not do anything to him? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him now. Thank God you are here. Thank God you are here. Papa, please ask this girl if she's still interested in my me because I'm fed up. I'm completely fed up! Henry. Uh, What's the matter? Papa, please, you have to do something, though. Know? You have to say something to this girl so that she will change. Because it's becoming unbearable. Charity. Yes, Papa. Do you still love Henry? Papa, God in heaven knows that I love him so much. But he's frustrating me. I'm frustrating you. Henry. Henry. Papa. Do you still love charity? Papa, how can you ask me that? You know very well that I'm always traveling around this world. I'm seeing different, different girls. But I chose to marry this girl. Of course I love this girl now. Of course I love her. Okay. Can both of you tell me how long you have been married? We've been married for four weeks. Charity. I'm waiting for you. Four weeks. So, Henry, you're not ashamed to tell me that in four weeks, just four weeks of marriage, you have begun laying hands on your on your wife. Ah, it's her fault, though. It's her fault. And you know it's your fault. How is it my fault? Of course it's your fault. It's your fault. You want to scatter me with sex. Sex. <laughs> sex. So it's my fault because of sex. So you're telling me that it's because you don't want me to be knocking my knocking that you will not clean my house for me and you will not you will not cook for me. Is that the reason? That's your problem. Did Sex. you marry me as a wife or as a house help? Huh? Am I your wife or your house help? Tell me. 
Papa, where are you going now? Say something at least. I am going to my house. That is where I belong. Both of you have been married for four, just four weeks. I already fighting. I don't know what to do about it. I have nothing to say. What I would suggest is both of you go back to your house and sort your issues out. Because I am going to my house. I have nothing to say. Oh, sort it here. Papa, Papa, tell him to give me back my phone. I'm not giving you this phone. You give me my phone or else I'll leave your house. Leave. Oh, okay. If he takes your phone, be with me. Eh? For you to leave my... Get out of my house. I know. I know you've always told me to give your house. I will leave and never come back. Look at you. Has never tried Hey! What is that? Now take it easy. Do not break my hand. Hey! Take it, take it. Hey! I see. I get this. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take this marriage, in fact, the way I'm saying this marriage, this marriage is remaining only one week. Full stop. Mm. Just one week, oh. just one week. <laughs> See everything. See this. Bara 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 bara. No problem. Meet again. <sighs> Get here. What are you doing here? I'm a protest. <laughs> but you of all people should know me well. Let me use my I go wherever I want to go. I'm here for my money. Where's my parents? I thought I've sent you your money. <laughs> How much is my balance? Max, please. Can we not talk about this thing here? Hey, Rusa, I brought another money to our matrimonial home, please. Have you asked yourself why I haven't sued you to court or invited the authorities into this case? No. No. Thank you, my parents. It's either I get my money now or you will die. How much are you owing me? 50 million naira. But I've given you 10 million. Mm -hmm. Then where is my balance? I promise to give you the money. I don't have any money on me now, but I promise to pay you back. Please, I promise. Where is the money? About you, please. 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 I don't have any money on me, just give me one week. One week of paper. Please give me. Please, just give me some time. Max, please. If you die, then I'll know that you're no more. No! If I die, how long I get your money now, Max? I either Max, get please. my balance here, I'll shoot. No, 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 Max, please. Max, don't shoot me. Max, please. My wife inside. Yes. I, I, I want to tell you something. <laughs> See, I, I want you to take it easy with your wife. You know, a woman of these days. <laughs> Paula, you know, ma'am. Sometimes, sir. Paula, my friend can focus on your work. If you put your mouth inside my marriage again, you hear from me. Oh, yes. My friend can attend your work. Oga, this your action proved to me that you are a kindergata. You are not ready for marriage. You are still a small kid. Yeah? 
See how you're just managing ordinary fight with your wife. Eh? See, you don't know what a woman can do. A woman can provoke you. A woman can talk something that can make you. <laughs> if you use the verse, you can scatter a woman's teeth. Demolish her job. But you don't know that one now. <laughs> so come to me. I will teach you how to handle a woman. <laughs> I'm going to look at you. Go your job. Go to your job. Mr. Paul. Anyway, sir, I don't have anything to say now. <laughs> I thought you'd have been gone by now. Do you really want me to leave your house? I don't want you to leave this house. Because you got married, it became our house. But I think you need to go back to your mother's house and learn home trade. I'm not going anywhere. You want me to leave so that you bring Nelly back to this house? I am not going anywhere. I'm not going. A stranger came into your house and told you lies about your husband and you believed. Eh? When I married you, I promised you that I was going to let you know everything about me. But instead, you rather decide to believe a total stranger. I don't want to even discuss anything with you right Nelly's now. Nelly is not just a stranger, she's your ex! And she knows more about you! Okay, fine. Believe her for all I care. Eh? See, you said you wanted to leave her be. I've thought about it. It's better you leave, oh, because it's better for us to just be apart. Ha! You're going to make me run mad. I have nothing to discuss with you. Go back to your mother's house and go and learn home training. These are challenges we see in my life. You don't have to be because your own is Madame. Madame. Why did you allow that man to school? Madam, now uh, it's, not, uh, it's not possible for me not to allow my organ into this compound now. I'm not talking about my husband. I'm talking about the man you allowed into this compound. Hey! Apart from organ, there is no any other person or spirit that enters here. Are you sure? Uh -uh. Did you see anybody here? Uh, no, no, no. Are you sure you did not leave the gate down now? Yeah, how is that possible now? Madam, you know, this one is not possible. In fact, I'm guiding this gate and the entire house with some part of my life. It's not possible now. Even the spirit cannot penetrate here. It's like you, you had a dream. <laughs> and that dream, you saw someone entered into this house now. <laughs> See, madam, yes, now. No. Eh? <laughs> No, now it's not possible for someone to enter this compound where I am the CEO, the, the GO of this compound. Even the spirit will be scared of me, <laughs> taking permission from me before entering. It's not possible. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is This is challenge. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in a big mess. <sighs> so, if you are in a big mess, you are in trouble. Why are you telling me? Mom, don't you do that now? Oh, it's now you know you are my daughter. Eh? You know you are my daughter. And all this while you've been feeding me with lies. Eh? You made me, your mother, stand on the altar before the whole congregation eh? and said you married as a virgin you told me you married as a virgin only god knows how many more lies i, I have to listen out of your mouth eh? please so i don't want to hear anything from you anymore mom i'm sorry please i need you now please go back to your husband's house Charity, go back to your husband's house and fix your, your home. As you can see, I'm busy trying to prepare my message for tomorrow women prayer. Eh? Please, you're distracting me. When I found out that 
it was into drugs and not a cat like he told me. I I angrily flushed down the drugs and he asked me to pay for it. And it's what? 50 million naira. You mean all these things happened when you were still in this house? And you did not tell me. Why? Daddy, please, I'm sorry. I know I've not been in my best behavior, but please forgive me. Hey! You don't see that mess me. By the way, what did your husband say concerning this? Mm -hmm. I don't want him to know about it. My home is already a mess and if I should take him it will get worse. You mean such a huge issue? You hid it from your husband. You would have even told him this before the wedding. Nadi, please. I promise to pay you back. Please help me. Hi. I'm ashamed of myself. I can't believe that I raised someone like you, a pastor like me, raising someone like you. I can't believe it. I go back to your husband's house. When you are done here, this is your grace. This is your grace. Oh, this is not exceptional. This is your This is challenge. She is your grace. This is your grace. Continue, don't look back Cause it's better Than to start afresh Anyone who has never Made a mistake Has never Tried anything new Because You see can Hold your love tight now for better, for worse, oh, you seek it. Hold your love tight. Now for better, for worse, oh, it's a challenge. I want to know why you people want to bust my ears with your incessant complaints. Why is it my fault? This girl has changed completely. I don't understand. Is this not the same person you said is the most beautiful thing that ever happened to you? Papa, I know. To be honest, I still love this girl. She gives me joy, but she has changed. I don't, I don't understand. The thing is that I can't stay with this girl one more night. Okay. It's impossible. Calm down, calm down. What exactly has she done? Let's go inside. I'll show you everything. There's something I'll show you inside. You understand? Come. No, I know that a bad at hand is what more of me is of death. Look, look at all this mess, Papa. Just take a look at my house. Why is the place so dirty and filthy? She's the one that said it's not a duty to be doing all this. Does that make any sense? I'm sure there must be a reason for this. This is not enough, Papa. Trust me. First, let's go to my bed. Come on. Come on, see what she's doing. Papa, take a look at this. What happened here? This is my bedroom. This is our bedroom. You mean both of you sleep in this pig style? Oh. Papa, I said cooking and cleaning in this house is completely a taboo. This is more serious than I thought. Mm -hmm. 
exactly what I've been saying. Papa, I said this girl used to do all these things before. She will clean, she will cook. But after the wedding, eh, she has been completely useless. To okay, cook now, let us eat. No, she said no. That she rather go back from outside and be messing this whole place up. I don't understand. It's, it's making me crazy. Um. Okay, I, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Let's go to the sitting room. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Because you see, girl, hold your love tight. I'm sure she must have a reason for her challenges. No, I'm sorry, Rod. I'm yet to understand it. If, if this thing continues like this, I'm going to rethink this whole marriage thing. Ah. What did you just say? Let this be the last time I'll hear such things come out of your mouth. Certainly not in my presence. Welcome. Charity, you look beautifully dressed. I cannot say the same about the state of this house. Why is it so untidy? Surely you must know that Charity, the virtue you are named after, begins at home. But Papa, I cannot be cleaning this house every day. It's too big, I can't do it. I already told him let's hire a maid, but he refused. But did you not do it before? Didn't you do it before? Is that one of the reasons I got married to you? For, for some reason, you just stopped it doing all the things you were doing before. Like, why did you change for Christ's sake? I've had this argument before, I can't keep arguing with you. No, 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 no. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm too busy for that right now. Ah, I don't have time to be checkmating somebody's work. She did it. Okay. Mm. Mm. This place looks dusty. Oh. If the living room is like this, then how would the other rooms be? Please, eh? You didn't come here to talk about my <laughs> dusty house. No, I don't like this environment. Okay, you know what? What if I decided to help you clean up the house? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, are you sure you want to do something like this? Yes, of course. 
See wife material though. I can't believe there's still a woman like this, man. Beautiful, intelligent, hardworking. Ah, she's so homely. I, I, I can't let her go. Not this one. Suddenly you change, you change, you change. And suddenly you change. <laughs> I'm not doing this to impress you. Okay. I feel good doing this. Okay, I, I guess let me do something now. Let me help out. I feel guilty. Mm, okay. I want to cook for you before I leave, so maybe you can help me and get some food stuffs. I'll be happy. <sighs> okay, what do you want me to buy? Hmm? Help me get a pen and paper and let me write. Sure. Okay. Suddenly you change. You change, you change and Suddenly you change, you change, you change I go tell mama, I go tell papa That I'm married, but I'm living Like a single person You made me married, but me Single person, you made me married, but living like single person. When will you change? Let me what you wrote in my heart. Let me what you wrote in my heart. Back as we stick, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying me. Yes. Mm. That means I'm good at this. So. Yes. <laughs> God. It's okay, man. I stole my heart, too. I know. <laughs> yeah. I think I do this. It's too stiff. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I feel like sleeping for me. <laughs> Let's sleep away. Mm -hmm. What do you do uh, with all your legs this stiff? Come to the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Adamo! 
Thank you. And then come my brother girl. Oh, this one you are keeping me outside. I, well, I hope there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look at me, you know that I'm very, very fat. Look at how much I'm licking my mouth like a dog. Well, well, why are you so excited? <laughs> okay, I am eating. I am eating a delicious food. Since I was born, now I am growing old. I have never tasted any sweet food in my dream. Talk about of reality. But today it happened. Oh, <laughs> sir, who gave you food that you're happy like this? It's a madam that gave it to you. Madam? Yes. She is a good cook. She is good in the kitchen. In fact, she can cook for Africa. <laughs> She's perfect cook. Boy, you're for you. Hey, <laughs> uh, Oga, please, don't allow her to go. <laughs> I'm just begging her. So because she gave you food is why you're giving me advice. Uh, yeah, Paul. Oga, sorry. Hmm? I want to say something. Do you know that when you left, she was sweeping the compound and the, the house. Not only sweeping, you know, she packed all your clothes, including your bosses <laughs> and my own bosses as well. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Um, sorry, would sir, you... uh, sorry, it's a joke, sir. It's... No, you know. <laughs> no, I don't want to see hear anything like that again. No, stone meow. I, I don't want to hear that again. Do you know? She is a wife material. In fact, 1,000 was. My wife material. Yes. 1,000 years. Stay away from my wife. Bro. And she is a wife material. 1,000 years. Oh, no. <laughs> my God. This is the one that. This is the one that. I can't wait to. Let the both of you be like. Um, sugar and tea. <laughs> Romy and Juliet. Uh, let me go and finish all my tea. Uh, <clears throat> but that was what she did for us. After the new wedding, she just changed. She and she's also very economical. I'd give her money and she won't spend everything. Are you sure you did not offend her in any way whatsoever? Oh, she's here. She can explain herself. During the wedding, I give her money. Okay. Take, sort out the expenses, the preparation of the wedding, everything. She said no, it's too much. Ah, I was so surprised when she said she saved up to 10 million naira. 10 million naira? Are you serious? I'm not joking, Papa. Charity is supposed to be my joy, it's supposed to be a blessing to me. She made me fall so hard for her. When you need to go down when you're spending, I can't be in this house and watch you lavish money like that. But I want a loud wedding. And you want to use 15 million naira for just wedding? Is that why you didn't spend the money I gave you? I will not spend that money. Do you want to render yourself bankrupt? Um, there is life after wedding, you know. Hope you know that. Babe, I'm not complaining. I'm complaining. Um, I'm complaining. The money is too much. See, I'll return the money to you once the whole wedding is over. Mm -hmm. You cannot be spending like that. Suddenly you change. You change. You change. Now she's just completely the opposite. That time you and I received. Till today, I'm not seeing any money. Charity. 
Is this true? I never said I will not give him the money. Then where is the money? I will give you. That's what she has been saying since. Is there any way you can return this money? Uh, I will need to go to the bank. Yes, I will need to go to the bank. And I've not had the chance to. Okay, uh, let's leave that aside. Now, I'd like to hear from you, your own version. You tell me yourself, what is the problem? Is there anything he's not doing rightly? Papa Henry changed. Henry changed completely after the wedding. You promised to treat me like a queen. You promised to take care of me. But you changed. And I can't deal. He changed. All the promises, everything. Immediately after the wedding, the things you do even before we got married, you stopped doing them. I can't deal with them, Papa. I'm afraid of marriage. A lot of people I know suffer once they get married. Mm, come on. Don't say that. You don't have the same destiny with those who are failed in their marriages. For real, I'm scared of men. I've went through a lot in the hands of men. Okay. I'm sorry about that, but I promise you, I will be different. Because not all men are the same. I'll take care of you. You'll be my queen. Alright? <sighs> That's what they say. But to live before the wind is more stable no. than your words. No, 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 Charity. I swear on my life. If you just give me all your heart, I'll treat you like my most important asset. I will take you as my number one priority. So please, eh, give me the opportunity to be your wife. The fact that I truly love you. Are you serious? You do? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> No, 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 please. Leave me. Over two hours, you still the pant. Yeah, I'm very active in bed now. So. Wow. I've never seen a man this active. <laughs> You're something else. <laughs> I'm even giving you breathing space here. If I give you my energy, I don't think you can carry it. Oh my god. <laughs> I need fire extinguisher down there. Hey. It's jolly up place right now. <laughs> oh, don't worry, man. Don't let that worry you. Mm. See ya. I'll take care of you, eh? I'm here for you, okay? See, I'll give you sleep in the shower. I'll make sure I give you all my love, right? Uh, don't worry. You have my body now, baby. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> all the promises he made, he didn't fulfill. Someone that promised to treat me like a queen now wants me to be cleaning all this mansion all by myself. Hmm. I can't do it, it's not possible. Is well, that not wickedness? Oh, but you did it before. Come on, say she said I cannot do it again. It's not possible. Alright, um, about the cooking. Why did you stop cooking for your husband? But cooking is stressful. Cooking is very, very stressful. Eh, I know I did it before. I all those stress, I took it before, but not anymore. But cooking is very, very stressful. Like I wake up in the morning and cook, afternoon I cook, lunch, breakfast, dinner. I, I, I can't do what he's doing. At least I told him, you love me, right? You claim you love me. I told him to get a housekeeper. At least to help me with all those things. But you refuse. I can't believe this. I'm really shocked at what I'm hearing. Charity. Okay. Papa, help me ask her why, when we're in bed, she does not allow me to do what I want to do. Okay, um, let us say this house is too big for you to clean domestically. And cooking, you're no longer interested in cooking, it's too stressful for you to cook for your husband. Surely as a wife, you should be able to make your husband happy in bed as his wife. I already told him the one I can do, which is Mishima. <laughs> Did you hear that? Who makes that kind of decision after marriage? Huh? <laughs> Papa, before we got married, we did everything. We did 
everything and this girl never complained once. If I wanted, I would have carried her, flipped her over, don't left, left, right, upside down. I, I knew she enjoyed it now. I, I knew. I could hear it. Even the neighbors would hear it. But now, only Michelle. Okay. Um, I think I'm beginning to see a picture here. But uh, before we continue, Charity. What do you have to say about what Henry has just said? When I noticed that he's good in bed, I started taking sex enhancement drugs. So as to be able to satisfy him. Because he's never satisfied at all. Okay. Um, I'm going to be frank with both of you. This marriage is built on a very, very shaky foundation and has been built on a shaky foundation from the very beginning. The truth is, both of you, each of you, manipulated your way into each other's hearts just to get into this marriage. And that is what I tell young people of these days. Whatever you fake to get into a marriage, will break that marriage up eventually. There's no running away from it. Get the love of your partner. You craft a personality. A personality you know your partner loves, that you know you cannot maintain to win the love of that partner of yours. And most times, yes, you do succeed in making them fall in love with you because of that character trait you have portrayed to them, knowing fully where you cannot maintain it. And that is why most marriages crash these days. The iron of it is, after creating and crafting this personality or this persona that you know you cannot maintain, when you enter marriage and that mask that you have crafted drops, you become surprised that the partner that you have, you have done this for refuses to fall in love with the real you that you have hidden from them from the onset. Whereas you have dropped the character or persona that you have crafted that you know you could not maintain. The point I'm making is both of you are at fault. If you had told me that you wanted a maid and not a wife, I wouldn't have accepted. I wouldn't. And if you had told me that you were not going to be able to clean my house and cook for me, you think I would even bother to marry you? Uh, both of you. Now is not the time for excuses. Neither is it the time for regrets. You are in this marriage. Henry, you know what I feel or how I feel about marriages. I'm sure you do as well, Charity. Mistakes have been made. The question to ask is, where do you go from here? You have both shown yourselves to have faked your way into this marriage, presenting something that you know you cannot sustain. What do you do now? Do you stay in it or jump out and roam around looking for another person? Now is where you take it to another level and to do that, you have to ask yourselves what value you have to bring to this marriage. Charity, you don't want to cook or you cannot cook. You don't want to do domestic chores or you cannot do domestic chores. You cannot keep up with Henry's libido because libido is too low to keep up with him. What value are you going to bring to this marriage? Because you're not going to sit down and do nothing and expect to be a wife and be successful in this marriage. What value are you going to bring to this? Are you going to help him in his business? Or help him grow? 
or bring something tangible into this marriage, you have to ask yourself that. And you, Henry, what do you have to offer? She can't give you that. Is it only food and sex? If you can't get that, what are you going to bring to this marriage? These are questions you have to ask. And after that, both of you have to sit down and discuss how you're going to handle the things that you do not like about one another. Then, and only then, when you have done all these things and these evaluations, will this marriage move to another step. And I promise you, when you do that, this marriage will be much sweeter than you ever envisaged because now it is on a real foundation. Is that clear? Yes, Papa. Oh, Papa, do you know that Henry is still talking to his ex? And this stupid girl had the mind to come to this house to tell me that she has a son for him. First Your of, ex. Ex. First of all, there's nothing wrong with me talking to my ex. She's just a friend. Second of all, are you okay? Take a guess. It's not true, obviously. How, how long do I have to tell you that it's not true? How many times do I have to tell you it's not true? It's not true. Uh, charity. When a man decides to tie the knot with you, out of all the people he has been with, it means he loves you. You see all those girls from his past. Other women may come from his past and say they have babies. It may be true, it may not be true. It is you he has chosen and not those other people. Even if they have babies for him, it is still you he has chosen. Some might also fake having babies for him. What is their motive other than wanting to devalue a marriage, dissolve it, and have a means of coming back? Or may them are just out of spite and anger at being rejected, want to scatter it. And you, Henry, the same thing might apply to you. Other men being angry that you have married her might come up and say, how much they have invested in her life, education-wise, in other ways, just to devalue her in front of her. Some might even say how much they have slept with her and climbed walls in their sex sexploits with her, just to devalue her before you and dissolve your marriage. It is for both of you to make that decision and stand together and choose to stand as one unit. This is why the first few months or first few years of a marriage are usually the most turbulent because of, because of all the forces that come to attack them and the differences they bring from their different homes and different personalities. It is down to you to decide whether you want to stay in it or not. Do this and I promise you, you will have the sweetest marriage Starting from a stronger foundation. That is all I have to say to both of you. Cause it's better than to start afresh. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never. Charity, I'm so sorry for everything, okay? I didn't mean to treat you unfairly. <sighs> I'm sorry for misbehaving too. But you need to call down on the sex. Yeah. I feel pinched and more fun with you. You know I like your real friend. I'm sorry about that. I'll try and change. But you should try and help me out soon. Okay? Don't worry. We'll meet a therapist. That can advise us on how to go about it. <laughs> okay. I also miss your food. So please, can you start cooking for me again? Yes, I will. But I need an assistant. I, I can't handle this whole house alone. You're free to hire anyone you want. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <sighs> 
You're so beautiful, man. Huh? I want you to stay with me forever. I love you. I love you too, baby. But please, let's start over, huh? Okay? Yeah. Me. <laughs> I'm suspecting someone is monitoring this house. Huh? Eh? So open your eye eh? and make sure you leave that door, that door locked, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, yeah. That's my gate. Bam. No A short trance now. I think someone is trying to harm me. Harm, harm you? Who, who? Who is that? Nelly! Eh? I saw it clearly. I think the lady wants to kill me. No, I've, I've wanted her to stay away from her family. See, see, honey, even if you want to cheat on me, not with that lady, please, just avoid her. I promise you, I have nothing to do with that girl. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. I think I have a plan. Can you help me execute it? What is it? Hmm. You don't have to worry about that, eh? If you do it out of the house, it's not on the wall. Okay, please sit down, eh? Let me get you something to drink. Oh, no, don't worry, I don't need anything, I'm okay. Ah. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know you don't play with your type of drinks. Or oh, are you still scared? No, I'm not. It's just that I'm still shocked that you invited me over here. See, look, calm down, all right? Baby, this is not the first time you're coming here. You've lived here before now. No, until you gave my place to another one. <sighs> okay, look, that's why I brought you here. We're going to fix it, okay? So, okay. let me get you something to drink, all right? Mm -hmm. Sit down there. Why have you sworn to destroy my marriage? Answer me! Why have you sworn to destroy my marriage? Tell me the truth! Uh, Do you have a baby for my husband? No, no, no. I just made that up to, to piss you off. Oh, please, oh, 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 please. I will kill you here today. Please, In your please. next life, you stay away from my husband. I promise. Mm -hmm. Don't come close to your house again. No, your husband, I promise, ma. I promise. When they say you close me. to my husband, I will kill you and nobody will know you're around. Say that! Please sit me. down! Please forgive me. Forgive me. I'm the only one in my family. No mother, no father. Please, I'm the only one taking care of my siblings. I don't care about your family. Forgive I don't care me. about your siblings. Please forgive me. Anything that comes close to my happiness is a devil. And I'll get rid of the devil. You are the devil! Please, I promise never what to is happening here? Please. 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 Please don't kill me, please. Thank you, Stan. You won't be lucky every day. Shut me! Get down! Please! Please! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Why she ran away? What? No, she uh, can't show my husband with me now. No, I am. Please. You're a good actress. I, I'll make one good actress. How <laughs> did she run out?
Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I think we shouldn't have left this bed. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, no, she, she ran. Okay. She ran very okay. fast. But as uh, she's going like this now, I know Paul is laughing at her. Outside. I know what to do. <laughs> In her next life, she will avoid people's husband. <laughs> Including mine, she'll be very careful. No sense. Mm -hmm. We see. <laughs> Excuse me? Who the hell are you? How, how did you get into my house? Paul! Paul! How did... <clears throat> okay, let's get into business. Charity. Come on. You mean you've not told him about me? the height of wickedness. Charity, I spent my life earnings on you. A baby, give me five million, I sent. Give me ten million, I sent. Whenever you need money, I always make sure I give it to you. And all you could do is to turn your back on me. Come on! I brought you from nothing and turned you to the woman that this man got attracted to. And all you could do is to turn your back on me. It's not fair. Oh, why you lied to me? You told me that you're into car dealership only for me to find out that you're into illicit drugs. Is that why you threw away everything we shared? The good moments. Is that why? You are a joker! I swear the body go flow! I can forget every other thing, but I cannot forget my money. Because I will kill you right here. I will kill your husband. Then I will go ahead and kill your mom. I will kill your siblings. But that is if I do not get my money there. Please. Sir, please, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. How much are we talking about? 50 eh? million. 40 million? I, I already gave him the 10 million. I should come back to you. Yeah, she's correct. 40 million. Charity! I'm sorry. Charity, Charity! I kept asking about this money, but you never told me anything. Do we have a deal okay. or do I do my thing? Okay. okay, I'll send you the money now. I'll send you that money right now. Please, please. Zeri Bank, 
I hope say not be something where they think of. I hope say, Madam and Oga, they did safe inside that house. Huh? But wait, you. How come I don't come here gunshot? How come I don't come here any sound? The sound of going like boom. Oh, boom, 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 boom. What? Huh? Hmm. But anyway, let Madame and Oga, let them die alive for because the one where pay me pass say if they come die now, my salary they never pay them. They never pay my salary. They never pay my salary. But wait you, how come this man just like that enter without me? Me, Paul, where the CEO of this compound? I don't know. Huh? You come into this compound without me. Or oh, are you sure this man is not a spirit? Hmm. Uh, uh, I believe it's not what I'm thinking, no. <laughs> if it is something I'm thinking, <laughs> you know there is fire on the mountain. It's <laughs> what I can't believe you did this. You hid something like this from me. I'm sorry. How can you hide something like this from me? How? I don't want to hear it. I, I, I don't want to hear it. Please, you're going back to your parents' house. It's two months of marriage and you just used it to ruin my life. Please, don't throw me away. I don't care. Charity, start afresh, please. Start afresh? Please. Charity, I don't care. Oh. Even please. when we did start afresh, eh, you still did not tell me about this one. A man came to my house pointing a gun at my face. I've had enough. I thought you were made for me. What? Leave me alone. Cause your own is not afraid at all This is your cry This is your cry No more This is your cry Your own is not exceptional at all This is challenge You're leaving my house right now No, 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 I can't take it, I can't take it Let's go, let's go I say you're leaving this house right now No! Do you know the person I saw today? Who did you see? Once your KK started. Eh? Hmm. Where did you see her? I saw her at uh, ShopRite. Ah, ah. Come and see this girl. Eh? Eh? This girl is looking so good, so fresh. Eh? God is faithful. God <gasps> is faithful. That company where she's working, they must have been treating her very good. Ha! I really appreciate God eh? for putting smile on the faces of her parents. Thank God. I thank God hey. for them. Hey, hmm? at last. I hope that we take, she will take good care of them. As she will. She's a very good girl. She has always been a good girl. She yes. will take care of them. Hey! Uh -uh. So what are you doing here? Eh? She sent to me. Mm. You're welcome back. Feel free. Relax. Papa, I'm done. Ah, life. You know, the scariest thing about life is when circumstances are thrust upon you that you are totally unprepared for. Dad, I hope you're not insinuating that all this is my fault. I'm not insinuating anything. 
I'm just saying that life has a way of bringing up things from the past, especially when it comes to marriage. You get married, a man gets married, and women from his past come up with claims of babies. As is the case with Nelly. The woman gets married, her past comes calling with men claiming to have invested so much in her life. As is the case with your wife, Charity's ex, Max. What matters is where you stand when such situations arise, especially where it is proven that the woman loves you. Yes, Charity loves you. I am your father and I will not mislead you. But note this, If you forgive her, you will gain two things, most valuable things from charity in this marriage. One is her respect. The second one, and more importantly, is her loyalty to you. And that loyalty will follow you all the days of your marriage. Because it will be clear to her that this is someone who will stand with her no matter what. And more advantageously, she will forgive you any discrepancies you may follow or misdeeds you may commit in the future in this marriage. I am your father. I cannot deceive you. This woman is willing to build with you. We also have to understand that she is not perfect. She's not an angel from heaven. It is up to you to work with her imperfection and her to work with your imperfection to become one perfect unit which is bonded together by deciding to stick together. That is only how you will fix it. But dad, the thing is that everything that has been happening, everything she has done, it's making my love for her decrease. It's, I don't feel the same anymore. Uh, I understand, but um, you have to look beyond that uh, emotional love and attraction that you had for her. Now it's time to know what real love is. And real love is steadfastness, dedication, sacrifice. It's not going to be easy. Marriage is never easy. Divorce should be the only, in fact, should be the last option of all. After trying every other thing and you find there's no other option than to leave the marriage, only then should divorce be considered. You think this is bad? Other people see far more worse than what you are going through. What makes a difference is they choose to stick together and that is how they become successful. Okay. You can choose to look for another woman outside after leaving this one. There are many more beautiful women than charity. Far more beautiful, far more attractive. But down the line, yes, down the line, you will find that they are far worse than she is. Devils. Build with the one you have seen everything about her, about her now. That you know she is willing to stick with you. That is whom to build with. It is up to you. Okay. So, how are you? Please, I'm very, very sorry for 
for how my daughter has turned out to be. You know, I quite understand very well that when you marry the daughter of a pastor, you know, you expect the best in terms of behavior. Sir, I understand, but I, I didn't come here to blame you, sir. I sold two portions of my blood, ah. you know, to cushion the effect of the debt which you have paid on behalf of my daughter. Sir, yeah. I just came here to see my wife. I, I only came here to see my wife. Okay, if you say so, uh, she's at the back. Thank you, sir. It's what more a millions of dead in the bush. Sorry, sir. Uh, I know you come for your money. I've I've come to take you home, Charity. I've missed you. Are you serious? What about mm -mm. Wait. You are my wife. And nothing will change that, for better or for worse. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You don't have to be sorry. I've learned to accept your flaws and imperfections. And I'll keep my promise. Mm? <laughs> Till death do us part, okay? Thank you. Sir, I'm so sorry to bother you. I just came to take my wife home. Hmm. What about the money? No, you don't have to worry about that. Eh? I, I didn't come here for any money, to be honest. I just came to take her home. Just like that? Yes, yes ma'am. Yay! Hey. My son, thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Thank you very much. Yes. We appreciate it. We really appreciate you, my son. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Eh? Mm -hmm. So, we'll take our leave now. Eh? All right, my son. My daughter, you. You, Charity. Please, be a very good wife this time around. Eh? Remember the family you came out from. Eh, my dear? You are the pastor's daughter. <laughs> so, be careful. Yes, Yes. Thank yes. you, Papa. Thank, Thank you, my mama. son. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much, you, eh? And while we're living now. Go well. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Thank you, eh? Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. God of wonders. <sighs> Had it been I knew, I wouldn't have sold the two cross of land. My mm -hmm. husband. Just give God all the glory. Oh, we, eh? do, we do. We do. Hey! God of wonders, we, we appreciate God you. Has done it. Thank you for wiping away this shame from this family. Oh! Hey! Challenges we see in my room. You don't have to be because your own is not different at all. This is your This is your grace. This is your Your own is not exceptional at all. This is challenge.